The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and e-book formats on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and sponsored by international award-winning author Mia Mohsen Zia of Missing. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, International War Ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews. And Eve 11 enjoys the Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and Manales. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms, heard in over 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, and Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music. Also, heard on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and a few networks coming soon. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, baseball gear. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. For great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles, also T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more, Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the themikewidenershow.com. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who's a former owner of a successful global marketing agency of 20-plus uh, years and began a radical uh, superfood um mission after watching his sister reverse the effects of breast cancer by adapting a uh, no junk food no sugar whole food uh vegan diet based and plant-based living and also later adapted the process himself we're going to talk about that he understands the suffering caused by animal agriculture which um help cease uh, animal exploitation and also he likes to talk about the radical approach to uh popular foods that find people love you love chocolate you love pizza well, you love spaghetti or do you like, um, you know, you know, Coca-Cola, Pepsi or coffee, tea, you know, whatever you like, potato chips, popcorn, everything like that. And of course, he takes a radical approach. You can still love it, but he'll show you how to take it to a next level. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Los Angeles. He's a former owner of a successful global marketing agency of 20 years. And he also has a brand new product. And he's also the owner of Radical Superfoods at RDCL. And this is very radical. Ladies and gentlemen, the multi-talented Donnie Macauer. Donnie, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. How are you, Mike? Well, I'm great. And it's great to have you on board, Donnie. So you're a former owner of a successful global marketing uh, agency of 20 plus years. You began the Radical Superfoods after watching your sister reverse the effects of breast cancer and uh, by adapting a no junk food, no sugar, whole food, vegan diet. And it's based on plant-based living. And you also uh, adapted the process yourself. You're doing a great job of it. You also understand the suffering caused by animal agriculture and uh, helps seize animal exploitation. And also uh, you take a 
practical approach to popular foods uh, you know people love as we mentioned you also feature super water super cocoa and radical element superfood and i'm so hungry for chocolate right now but you got a better solution so before i get into all that uh, with uh, radical superfoods donnie tell us how you first got started yeah, well, you meant, look, you mentioned the story of my sister, which is a big, a big part of the journey. You know, I grew up in the Midwest. I moved to the West Coast over 20 years ago now. And as you pointed out, for the bulk of the time that I've been here, I built, you know, ran with a with a partner and ultimately sold um, a digital marketing and advertising agency. We did a lot of really interesting work for big global brands. Um, but while I was at the agency, my sister, this is now in 2012, my sister was diagnosed with breast cancer. It was very scary. Um, she had surgery to remove the cancer, but she started feeling a very similar pain under her arm mm. and they did a biopsy and there was like a little micro metastasy there. And then a few months later, she felt yet another similar pain in her lower back or somewhere, maybe mid back, somewhere on her back. And she, uh, she got an MRI and went for a doctor visit and they saw early signs of it in her spine. And ultimately the, the treatment that she was on post-surgery had a lot of potential side effects, including other cancers potentially. So go figure that one. Um, and, you know, was not making her feel very well. So she decided to follow a protocol that she learned about at a wellness center, which really, as you pointed out, removed sugar, junk, and all animal products. And it's not just eating a quote unquote vegan diet. It's very nutrient rich. You know, it's, it's, you're drinking wheatgrass juice and sprout juice, and you're having a lot of um, whole foods that grow out of the ground, you know, um, real foods. And sure enough, she followed this protocol for quite a while. They told her to follow it very strictly for a couple of years. Of course, you could follow it your whole life, but at a minimum, follow it for strictly for two years. It didn't take that long before the pain in her spine started to subside. And sure enough, she did another scan and saw that, you know, she halted the progression of her cancer. It was gone. And, um, you know, I'll acknowledge this is an anecdote, right? I'm not, I'm not relaying a, a double blind placebo controlled study here, but this is an anecdote very close to my heart and that it was my sister. So it really introduced me to the power of food to kind of heal and nourish the body, particularly plant-based food. And so that's what got me to start to research it and try to discover the optimal human diet. Um, ultimately concluded that plant-based living was the best way to live. Although I always gave myself a little bit of a get out of jail free card. You know, if, if you were having a meeting in a Chicago pizza place, right? You mentioned how much you love pizza um, when we spoke previously. And um if I was in a pizza place in Chicago, I'd be like, all right, listen, when in Rome, I'll have the pizza, right? There you um, go. That's right. If you're in a steakhouse, have the have the steak. It's sort of like this flexitarian attitude. But about four and a half years ago now, you know, I stumbled onto a talk that I thought would be about food and nutrition, um, but it wasn't. It was about the treatment of animals and animal agriculture. Mm. And this is what really blew me away. I was already a proponent of plant-based living. But I figure, listen, if I eat plants 80, 90% of the time, what difference does it make what I eat for the other small percentage of time? But once I saw what happens to animals, you know, just the horrible suffering and cruelty that animals endure, and it's just so unnecessary because I don't need to eat any animals to survive and be healthy. That is when I drew a hard line in the sand and realized there's just no good reason to pay people to exploit animals on my behalf, whether for diet or any other reason. And so that's when I became a proponent of whether you call it vegan living or plant-based cruelty-free living. To me, they're synonymous, you know, but really the animals are what got me fully over the finish line. Mm -hmm. and, and what was that one precise moment and which particular animal that got you to say that's it was like, you know, an instance like say with a cow, a chicken or goat or sheep or anything like that. What was that one precise moment or precise animal or a very, very precise element that simply just, you know, caused you to draw the line and say, that's it, no more. Yeah, well, I was already convinced from a health standpoint, but it was watching a lecture that was talking about how unfairly we treat animals and and again, how arbitrary it is. You know, I, if I was to pull people on the street and ask them, do you love animals? Everyone's going to say yes. Who doesn't love animals? <laughs> I ask them if they're an advocate for animal cruelty. Are you in favor of animal cruelty? Everyone's going to say, no, of course, I'm not in favor of animal cruelty. No one wants to be cruel to animals and everyone loves animals. 
The only difference between someone who's vegan and someone who's not vegan is a vegan has aligned their lifestyle to that sentiment and a non-vegan hasn't. There's just no way around the fact that if you consume animal products, you're contributing to animal cruelty. So when you ask me, what was that moment? There was a lecture that kind of had the light bulb go off. Hmm. And then I drew a hard line in the sand and said, listen, I'm not going to pay to contribute to animal suffering unnecessarily anymore. Um, and if you ask me, was there a particular animal? There wasn't really, but I did, I did look into the eyes of, you know, uh, pigs just by the, by the hundreds that were going into a slaughterhouse. Um, I was seeing them in these trucks and giving them water along with many other people. And you see these pigs trembling and dirty and crying and terrified, knowing that 20 minutes later, they're, they're all dead so that people can eat bacon and sausage and things that they shouldn't be eating anyway. Mm. Um, and that was a moment I'll never forget. Uh, I didn't even need to witness the slaughter. I witnessed them right before the slaughter. I've seen enough slaughterhouse footage. Um, but those were a couple of key moments. And so now I just live a very different lifestyle, um, you know, for those reasons and many others. Mm -hmm. and, and, and also, too, that uh, your your sister drank like with uh, wheatgrass juice and uh, everything else. Of course, you know, not every, every it's pretty much uh, not everybody, you know fits one and everything else and uh like say if you were to like you know you know base the diets it's like you know compared to others like you know what would you have and what would you uh not be able to uh have as well yeah i mean listen i just avoid things that are made from animal products so um i think the closer you can eat to a whole food plant-based diet the better right you can you can live off of french fries cookies potato chips and beer and you could be vegan right if none of those things contain animal products that doesn't mean it's healthy so you want to eat real food um and you know obviously you can eat things that are processed as well as long as the ingredients that go into it are predominantly real foods but you want to eat things that generally speaking you recognize everyone has their moments of indulgence and and straying and i think it's fine again depending on your your own choices but I think you want to stick as close to that as possible. But one thing I do tell people, because people ask me all the time, how on earth do you do this? I could never be vegan. And I say, look, if you want, you could just eat the exact same things you eat now. Just eat the vegan version. So, Mike, if you like hamburgers and hot dogs and pizza and ice cream and cold cuts and eggs, bacon, I'm telling you, there's like multiple plant-based versions of all of those foods. I could buy them assortments of them. I could try them all. I could find my favorites. There's nothing you could eat that I can't eat. I just eat the version that isn't made from animals. Mm -hmm. so and, again, and is it all healthy? Not necessarily, but I don't think the animal version is healthy either. So, mm -hmm. and, and, and what are some of the other uh, plant-based based versions um, that there are out there and the ones that you recommend that you said there are several of them as well too. And uh, of course you got the plant-based, but you know, what are some of the other plant bases like offshoots and everything else, you know, you know, people can know it's like, Hey, this is a good plant yeah. base, a bad plant plant base. You know, there's several offshoots and everything. And probably like the most healthy one to, or one is like, you know, eh, kind of question on that. Yeah. Like, look, what's healthy. I, I tread carefully there. I've done a lot of research on this. I've read so much on nutrition. I've listened to many doctors, but I'm also not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. And the, and the funny thing is I will acknowledge that if I wanted to put a panel of doctors in front of you that advocate for plant-based living, I can do that very easily. And if I wanted to put a panel of doctors in front of you that advocate for some other lifestyle, I could do that too, right? You can cherry pick the doctors that will that will support the lifestyle that you want to lead. But one thing that I've learned is that, um, you know, the predominance of the evidence really just does support this plant-based living and all of the proponents of plant-based living. And it, by the way, it's the only diet that's really been shown to reverse things like heart disease. You know, other diets have not been shown to reverse heart disease and it, it helps prevent halt or reverse like 15 of our most common diseases, which are lifestyle driven. But to go to your question, what versions of these foods you can eat? Now you can eat a hamburger that isn't really made from many whole foods, but maybe tastes great. Um, but you can also eat a hamburger that's made from beans and quinoa and rice and mm. vegetables. And, um, and again, there's dozens of them to choose from, you know, there's a whole spectrum. So it's up to you. Do you want to try to emulate meat as closely as possible? You could do that. 
Do you want something that's not trying to taste like meat? It's just trying to be like a bunch of veggies in a patty. You could do that too. And everything in between. I, you know, I enjoy the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And I, and I, and I'm going to do that on a pizza as well too. And uh, we'll talk about that. And of course uh, you also have some super water, super cocoa, and also um, some super foods as well too. We'll talk about your product line, but first listen to the Mike Widener show at the Mike Widener show.com powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international war ring author, Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth and illusion and those you love be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews in Eve 11 and George by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Ford Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms heard in over 100 countries. Also on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and a few networks coming soon. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok today. For great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books, merchandise, and more. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and themikewidenershow.com. Make sure you do so today. We're here with the amazing uh, founder of R RDCL or Radical Superfoods and former owner of a successful global marketing agency, Donnie Macauer, here on the Mike Wagner Show. And of course, um, you know, got the Radical Superfoods, you got Super Water, Super Cocoa, and just Radical Elements, a lot of superfoods. And, um, you know, tell us more about the uh, Radical Superfoods um, line and, of course, the, the whole story behind the inspiration. I looked at the website. I mean, you got some great stuff. I love to have your cocoa right now, so... <laughs> Yeah, well, I can I can start there. You know, we we've been at this for a little bit. We're still an early stage company, and we released Super Cocoa into the market. Um, you know, a bit of time ago for market testing. You know, we wanted to see how did it perform, who really gravitated towards it, what kind of feedback did we get, because we really wanted to validate our initial products. We have numerous other products in development, some in late stage development. But we wanted to test the waters with just a few initial products to gauge reaction. And the reaction has just been overwhelmingly positive. You know, Super Cocoa is interesting. It was conceived to be a superfood version of hot chocolate. Oh, nice. But then we started, then we started uh, trying it cold and over ice. And we're like, oh, my gosh, this is just as great. Cold. We can take it up <laughs> You're with making ice. me thirsty for so oh, right Yeah, now. It's, it's great and in I the winter or the summer. And I want some of my coffee, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It, it's great in coffee. Um, but the way it started, you know, look, with Radical, we want people to eat more plants, but we want to make it easy and we want to make it delicious. And we like in integrating, you know, the power of plants into places where you may least expect it. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the landscape of, let's say, hot chocolate for the moment, you, yes, you could have a cold, as I pointed out, but let's just focus on hot. If you look at the options of what hot chocolate you could buy, there's nothing uh, particularly healthy. Um, a lot of them are really junky and not good for you and totally full of sugar. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yes, can you find one that's sugar-free? Sure. You can find ones that are less junky. Hard to find one that's proactively good for you. And so we wanted we wanted to find one that's good for you. You know, Can we make a hot chocolate where you're better off having two servings rather than just one? In order for that to be true, it's got to be healthy. And so, you know, we started to play with what that formulation could be and see how much healthy stuff we put in it before you essentially break it, right? Um, so we started, we, we put organic pea protein and we put organic broccoli, kale, spinach, cauliflower, beet, and carrot, and seven different super fruit like strawberries and blueberries and elderberries. And we put in ancient grains and seeds like chia and, but no gluten, right? So it's gluten-free. Um, and there's no added sugar and, you know, we combined it all and we use real cacao, a real organic cacao. 
And sure enough, the end result, it took some some work, but we created a version that we would actually even make it for kids and they would try it and they would they would lick it up and be none the wiser as to what was in it. It just tastes like an indulgent chocolate drink. And so we knew we were onto something. A lot of it is really just incorporating these amazing plant powered ingredients into uh, products like a hot chocolate and and making these healthy versions of them that taste great. Mm -hmm. and, and where do you get the real uh, cacao beans from? Yeah, actually, my business partner, who's our chief product officer and my my co-founder, um, well, I can't remember the exact name. Uh, he knows someone who's been in the space for a long time. And um, just by working through the network, he found just an amazing supplier of cacao um, that was just a very high quality. And we tried it and we liked uh, where it was sourced. Um, and the entire story behind it. So we ended up using that cacao in our product after Ooh, we I like it. to hear the story. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even, <laughs> I don't, as I sit here, I don't even remember the details of like exactly the farm and where that was located. Although some of our ingredients uh, come from farms that I actually personally visited. So for example, I mentioned the greens, like the kale, spinach, broccoli, uh, that comes from uh, a farm where I walked through the fields, stood in the middle of the fields, walked through the facility, watch how they pick them fresh, flash freeze them, you know, ultimately freeze dry them so that you could break wow. them down into powder and they get crushed and they can then get put into a product like ours. So when we say there's broccoli or, or kale in there, it literally is kale that was growing out of the ground and picked fresh and just goes through a quick process to ultimately be able to turn it into a powder um, mm. after you remove the water from it, right? It's mm. called freeze drying. And so um, it's a really amazing process. So between the two of us, we covered a lot of ground so we could hand select all of our ingredients. Okay. And and, and what is that special process that you guys use that separate the, um, the, the, uh, the competition, say, from the rest? You know, like, yeah, this process. What is that process or what are some of the things that make you stand out from uh, everybody else besides well, the freeze a lot of it with the kale? Yeah, a lot of it is our is our process for how we develop products and the types of ingredients we use. So if if I asked you to find a hot chocolate with kale in it, you know, good luck finding that, right? <laughs> it, it's not typically found. Now I realize it's even strange to hear, like, why on earth would I want that? You know, that sounds gross, but you don't taste it. You know, it uh, it tastes delicious. So if you're already going to be drinking something that is a treat and indulgent, why not get so much more benefit out of it? It's just, it, it leads to a healthier lifestyle and healthier habits. Um, so it, it just allows you to optimize your well being. So really what makes us unique and stand out is really our ingredient story and our approach to how we develop products. Not to mention, I'd put it in a taste test against any of the competition, even with all those healthy ingredients in there. I think it tastes really great. Mm -hmm. And you also have the super, super water as well, too, which also stands out and, uh, you know, tell us about that. And of course, the uh, the story behind that. Yeah, that those two products are called Radical Elements. And um, they're powders that you would add to a water bottle. Like if you I use a reusable insulated water bottle. And so I take a scoop or two of this powder and I add it in there and shake it up. And so these are functional hydration drinks. Mm -hmm. So one of them they both have organic coconut water um it's a powdered coconut water but the drink doesn't taste like coconut water we use coconut water because of its terrific hydrating qualities you know the minerals and the electrolytes so we use coconut water we use different super fruit like dragon fruit um maki berry acerola berry for vitamin c or passion fruit so we have a couple of different flavors of it um, and so you get some antioxidants and delicious fruit flavors in there from the fruit itself. Um, but then what's interesting about them too is the function. So these products have what we call an immunity boost. So you would say, well, what's an immunity boost? We just, we, we have vitamin C and zinc and a vegan vitamin D. And we know through evidence that vitamin C, vitamin D and zinc support your immune system. So we put really great versions of them in these products in proper amounts that you can get um, a nice support for that, an immune boost. Um, and then one of them also provides focus and energy. So support, it's just, it's really good for productivity. I take it in the morning. Nice. And the other one is more calming. It's like a stress support formula. So I take the energizing one in the first half of the day and the calming one in the second half of the day, makes my water taste delicious and it's more hydrating. So you just get a lot of benefits. As a whole, we just think of it as upgrading your water. If you're already gonna drink water, Put this in your water, you'll get more from it. And most people don't drink enough water. 
this will make it taste better and make you more likely to drink as much as you should. Mm -hmm. And this can be done in any any kind of water, like you know, regular tap water, filtered water, going through a Berkey or anything like that. This can be like you know, just in in any water. Yeah, you can put it in any water you want. That's the point. We're not sending you single use plastic bottles. You, everyone has water. So just you use your own water and you're just going to add a really small scoop of powder into your water bottle and shake it up and then you're good to go. Okay. Really. Okay. That sounds interesting too. And uh, what are some other products that you got out there and what are some of the products um, that you're going to be uh, rolling out pretty soon? Yeah. So right now we just have the three products that we were testing that tested quite well. And now we're pushing into more of a, a, a more robust launch mode um and uh ramping that up and then we also yeah we have some other products in late stage development one of them is a really unique take on oatmeal nice so oatmeal, oatmeal is a really great um you know I, I love having oatmeal for breakfast but again i think oatmeal suffers from some of the same issues that many other product categories do many of them are just have way too much sugar or not enough value um you know, thankfully, I think the worst oatmeal isn't as bad as, let's say, the worst hot chocolate, right? You could still get more value there. Mm -hmm. But I think I think you could do better. And so we're just incorporating some really unique ingredients and a unique approach to to oatmeal as well. And we've we found some other product categories to do that, mm -hmm. too. It's interesting to talk about oatmeal as well, too. Is it the uh, the roll, the sprouted or is it the uh, steel cut or what type of oatmeal? Yeah, we're, we're actually experimenting with a couple different kinds. We know we want to use organic oatmeal um and gluten-free oatmeal not all oats are gluten-free which is sort of an interesting thing some are mm -hmm. some aren't but we want to use gluten-free oats um and then we're experimenting with uh with a couple of different kinds just to see what we think tastes better although we're in we we've come pretty far along in the development so just a few variables to still tweak there mm, that's okay. really that's really interesting as well too and one thing on if i if i if i can suggest how about super coffee what do you think yeah, well, we we love the idea of super coffee. We have something like that in the works, a couple of ways to make your coffee super. Uh, and, and what's interesting is one way that people are doing that now with our existing product is they buy super cocoa and they take maybe a third of a serving and they put it in their coffee instead of a coffee creamer and mm. turns their coffee into a superfood mocha coffee. So um some people are yeah that's what's interesting people people are already making coffee with our products but yeah we're going to be in the future we hope to be even more coffee focused mm, that's really interesting as well too and what else is coming up for uh donnie mac hour on the uh radical superfood lines we'll find out just one minute you listen to the mike widener show at the mike widener show.com powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author, Mia Molson Zia Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the um, the founder of uh, Radical Superfoods, Donnie Macauer, after this time. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-303. 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is extraordinary relation of ordinary people based on a real life relationship. It's just it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to the Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. 
We're back with uh, the founder of Radical Superfoods, Donnie Macauer, here on the Mike Widener Show, also former owner of a successful global marketing agency at 20 years. And, um, you know, just a lot of great ideas. I'm ready for some cocoa right now. And um, what else can we expect for you guys uh, in 2022 and beyond, Donnie? Yeah, well, look, I mean, now we're trying to kind of roll and expand our reach and hit find some new audiences. And we, we've we been continuing our testing, but ramping it up and starting to create new types of content. So in the coming months, you're going to see things dial up pretty gradually here, but also more rapidly than we had in the past while we were in pure testing mode. So it's going to be fun. So playing with products and product development, like some of the ones that I pointed out and now slowly ramping up marketing. I'm mm. um, working on some interesting partnerships. So, uh, you know, interesting, interesting times ahead. And then I, you know, I also still love um, kind of advocating for this kind of lifestyle. Look, the products that we make are not meant to fully displace all of the food that you eat. It's not like live off of the radical superfoods product line. But what we want people to do is incorporate these great foods just into your daily routine. So if you use our, our, our product that goes into your water bottle or you use super cocoa as a bit of a treat or an indulgence, you know, throughout the week, I think it's a great way to incorporate terrific ingredients and tasty products into, into your life. Um, and, you know, one, one thing I mentioned before, I, I think it, it's worth just um, highlighting something. So I made a comment earlier that if somebody wanted to cherry pick a series of doctors to promote paleo living or ketogenic living or vegan living, or, you know, you could find, you could find your doctors that support whatever behavior you want. Now, I believe again, that the overwhelming evidence would tell you that plant-based living is the healthiest way to live. I think, again, I'm not a doctor for a living, but I know how to read. I know how to listen to people. <laughs> I, can make my, I could do my own balancing act of the information I've been exposed to understanding that people may come to their own conclusions. But certainly through my lens, it's overwhelming in favor of plant-based living. Now, that said, all I need to contend with someone back on the animal front and advocating for animals, I don't need, if, if, if someone will just acknowledge that you can live a healthy lifestyle by being plant-based, let's even say you could live a healthy lifestyle by being keto and you could live a healthy lifestyle by being plant-based. And let's even just assume for the sake of argument that you could be equally healthy on both paths. Mm. My point is, let's just call it a wash. You could be healthy plant-based and you could be healthy on other diets. But why wouldn't you take the path where you're not inflicting intentional cruelty, suffering, and death on animals? Why would you not do that? Because if you could be healthy on both paths, take the path that minimizes the cruelty. There's no way to live an absolutely cruelty-free lifestyle just by virtue of living on this planet. There's a ripple effect to your existence that's going to cause some harm and some unintentional death. But why do it intentionally and just add, you know, add to the problem? Um, so that that's why I think the animals are so critical because for health, people can rationalize anything. For animals, people love animals and they don't want to hurt animals. Most people just don't think about that on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And that's a really good point as may well too. And uh, where can people uh, find the radical superfoods and where can get more information at? Yeah. So right now, um, while I think we'll be sold in a wider variety of places before long, the best place to get it is really our site. So radical is spelled, as you pointed out earlier, it's just um, RDCL. We've dropped the vowels, right? So RDCL and then superfoods is fully spelled out. So rdclsuperfoods.com. And if you go to our site, um, you can order the products directly from there and, you know, you'd have it in short order. Yeah, everything's available. Okay, that sounds great. We'll certainly do that. We're here with um, the founder of our Radical Superfoods, Donnie Macauer, here on the Mike Wagner Show. And just a couple of things. Um, who, do you, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Wow, biggest influence in my career well, it, it depends on which part of my career you may be talking about, but I guess as it relates to as it relates to plant based living, um, there are, there are a few people that I listened to early on that certainly had an impact on the health side. There's um, there's a, there's a site called 
Well, there you go. You know, <laughs> I, uh, I, I think a special <laughs> guest wants to come on later in the show. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my one of my dogs, I have uh, two adopted dogs, rescued dogs in there. Uh, w- one has been in here with me all quiet, but certainly wants to leave the room now. Um, but there's a site called nutritionfacts.org, which is, you know, all about evidence-based nutrition. And it's, you know, there's a guy named Dr. Michael Greger. And I think the content that he puts out is very helpful. Um, there's also a book that I read early on and he, he's got a really popular podcast a guy named Rich Roll, um, who also follows a plant-based lifestyle. And, um, I read his book, Finding Ultra and found it to be a really positive influence. There are others, but those are two that come to mind as it relates to plant-based living. Okay. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Well, I, I always want to encourage people to start to transition to plant-based living and to break down these arbitrary categories that we have created for animals. So I want people to think about the animals that they would share their house with, the dogs and the cats, and just think about how you would never want to inflict cruelty. Could you just imagine people eating dogs or hurting dogs, abusing dogs? It's just, it absolutely makes people shudder. It's, it's awful. Right now take the next category wildlife, right? So think of elephants and giraffes and dolphins and these animals that people love seeing in nature. No one advocates for their undoing either, right? We all want them to thrive out in the natural environment. Mm -hmm. Why do we condemn this other group of animals, livestock, poultry, and seafood, right? It's the cows, the pigs, chicken, fish, lamb, you know, lobsters. I mean, the, the list goes on. There really is no difference between all these animals. I realize they have varying levels of intelligence, but they're all sentient. They're all aware. None of them want to die. None of them want to be um, suffering. And so I'm just suggesting that these three categories pets, wildlife, and livestock is so arbitrary that if people can just see all animals as being the same, most people these days, good people, would argue that all people should be treated equally, irrespective of your race, your religion, your gender, whatever it might be. I'm simply suggesting we extend that same courtesy to animals. Why intentionally hurt any animals if we don't have to? We just no longer have to. Maybe we did for certain stretches of human history, but we don't now. We could live perfectly well without, you know, additionally inflicting uh, pain and suffering on animals beyond just what happens just by the virtue of the fact that we share a planet with them and we cause enough harm. Let's not do additional intentional harm when where we don't need to. Mm -hmm. So that is what I would want people to think about. And quite understandable. And I declare this. Let's thank Bessie the cow for president. How's that? So. I'm all in. Betsy's got my vote. There you go. I think we'll have to start a campaign on that. So (laughs) (laughs) we're here with the founder of Radical Superfoods, Donnie McHour, here on the Mike Wagner Show. Donnie, a very big thank you for your time. Learned a lot from you. Absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Just keep us up to date. Keep in touch. And um, once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact? Where can people purchase or check out your, your goods? Yeah. Um, again, the site is uh, radicalsuperfoods.com. Radical being RDCL. So rdclsuperfoods.com. That's a great place to learn more about our products. Um, and one one good platform for people to connect with me directly is actually through LinkedIn. I would say about of, of all the platforms, that's probably one um, I stay most closely connected to. Sure, certainly our brand, Radical, we're, we're now active on TikTok and Instagram. We could be followed across the social platforms. But me on a personal level, um, LinkedIn's a good platform for me. All right, we'll certainly do that. Once again, Donnie, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you in soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Love having you back. We wish you all best. And Donnie, you've got a great future ahead of you. I appreciate it. Thank you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. 
And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Me and Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. Brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosin-Zia of Missing. And powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms. And of course, on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net, and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>